Welcome to Tech Resolution Down Memory. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Which tool you have used for CI CD for Azure Data Factory? So let's take a look at what is CI CI CD first and then I will explain a little more details about the answer. So continuous integration is the practice of testing each change made to your code base automatically and earlier as possible. Now continuous delivery, that's the, this is standing for CI and this is start standing for our CD. So continuous delivery follows the testing that happens during the continuous integration and pushes those changes to the staging or production system. So in Azure Data Factory, when we talk about CI CD, we will configure our Azure Data Factory to write our all the changes some to some repository. Let's say in this case, if we go here and in the Azure Data Factory, I go to manage and then in the manage, I have source control. In source control, I will go to Git configuration and then I will configure my source repository. So I will tell uh, I would like to save my all the Azure Data Factory uh, pipelines and uh, triggers you know data sets and all that in Azure DevOps Git. Um, so once I select that uh, it's gonna save my all the information there. So I have to configure it uh, and uh, tell where exactly the repository what is uh, going to be branches and all those kind of things. So I have to tell all those details on next steps. So now once that's done now uh, every time you make a change here this is a you let's say this is your dev uh, data factory the change will not be deployed to the UAT or prod and all that for that uh, what you will do you will use Azure DevOps so in the Azure DevOps uh, uh, you will create the pipeline and uh, those pipelines uh, will run and push uh, your changes to the, uh, uh, the to the prod or uh, UAT and staging and all those uh, different environments so, so here uh, in this video I'm showing you right there this video tells you all those uh, steps so, so see right there uh, once the changes are uh, saved from Azure Data Factory to the repository then you will create uh, Azure DevOps pipelines uh, and those pipelines uh, you can trigger uh, on uh, changes or some specific time uh, and they will publish uh, your changes uh, from your dev to the UAT and from your dev to the prod you know wherever you want to publish them uh, to the different data factories um. so in this video I have uh, all those steps uh, define uh, so starting from the basic uh, one, two, I have three, everything four. laid out uh, from step one how to even create the data factory how to create the repositories and all that you're uh, gonna learn them so, so let me I will uh, mute here so right here you see that uh, I showed how to create dev data factory how to create dev uh, UAT data factory how to even create DevOps project and uh, create the repo so we can save our data factory pipelines and everything and once uh, that is ready then we can use Azure DevOps uh, and then uh, use uh, that repository and push the changes to the uh, next environments uh, such as UAT and production or data factories uh, and uh, there is a pre and post uh, trigger script that also has been added to the video so it will tell you all those uh, details um. So to answer your question now, very easy and quick uh, in uh, two sentences, uh, you have used uh, Azure DevOps uh, Git uh, as a repository to save your changes and then you use uh, Azure DevOps uh, pipelines uh, to push your changes uh, from your uh, repos dev repository to the UAT and prod. Uh, but I will suggest uh, watch this video and uh, read this article uh, that I just had it here. I will put the link for both of them in the description and uh, so you can use it. Uh, also for this video, I will uh, just uh, put uh, right here when you watch the video, you can simply click uh, and it will open for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.